Hey guys, this is Coach Liz from Elite Performance Gym. And today I'm gonna to talk about if you should be tracking your calories, your macros to lose body fat or gain muscle. So like the answer to any question, um, it really depends. So if you're somebody who wants to lose weight and it's more of a lifestyle change and you know, you're probably busy with other things and this is a priority but not the the top priority, um, what we recommend here is to just make some changes. So for example, if you have two cups of rice for dinner, just switch it to one. If you haven't been working out at all, start off with a good baseline. So start working out two to three times a week. So by you just doing what you're doing, but just working out two to three times a week, if you've never worked out, that's gonna put you in a caloric deficit and that's actually gonna help you lose weight initially. So if you're just someone starting off your fitness journey and this is more of a lifestyle and you don't really wanna be tracking and weighing everything, that's perfectly fine. Um, the main thing is just to make small changes. You know, if you eat out three days a week, cut it down to one day a week. So it's about making those habit changes. Um, if you're somebody who's been working out for a while, you've been trying to eat healthy, but you're not seeing results and you're really serious about gaining muscle, um, I would recommend to track your calories, track your, track your macros. And the reason being is because you may think you're doing everything right, but up until you track everything, you probably be seeing that you're overeating or you are not consuming the amount of protein that you should be eating um, once you actually start tracking and weighing everything out. So if, you, if you're very serious about this and you feel like you've been doing everything right but you're not, um, I would go in the route of tracking just to figure out what is going on and what change you need to make. Because it's hard to make a change if you don't even know what to track. So that's what, um, that's what I would recommend. Um, and then once you understand how much your body should be consuming, um, once you have an idea of what four ounces of chicken or four ounces of paneer looks like, then you don't really need to track. You're more of maintenance, you can eyeball things, you can do more intuitive eating. So that's what I would recommend for people that really want to take to the next level or are not sure what to do and you've been doing everything right, definitely track. Um, and there's those other people that just like don't like tracking, they, they, they let the numbers get to them, like if they weigh themselves every day or they, they just get so consumed with it, then I would avoid tracking for those type of people because then it's gonna create more stress and we all know what stress does. It increases your cortisol level and actually will just make you unhappy and actually make you gain weight. So um, uh, just to simplify, simplify everything, it really depends on where you're at in your fitness journey, how serious you are, um, and just the, the person that you are. So hope this video helps. If you have any other questions, um, let me know. Let any of our coaches here at Performance know. We'll love to help out. Take care.